Hello everybody, I'm High Treason, using a different machine today, I've just done a test run. We're playing Commander King 6. Um, not going to be playing it all today because I haven't practiced it, but just to keep something on the channel. I haven't practiced anything, I've been busy trying to get my June Nukem map done and stuff. Maps does broke again right now though, so we're going to do some King 6. You may remember him saying this game's a broken mess and I exploit the crap out of it. And this is true. Goddamn copy protection. Oh, I didn't read you the story. You press F1 in this game, there's no help section. Um, yeah, I'm aware Tony's beat me. Now what we have to do is try and get the story. There's the only one way you can get it, and that's to watch demos. But not that one. Episode 6. Aliens ate my babysitter. While out in his backyard clubhouse, Billy's babysitter Molly calls him for dinner. He continues working on his new wrist computer. Suddenly there's a loud noise outside. <laughs> Rushing out, Keith finds his babysitter gone and a note on a patch of scorched grass. The blues of frivolous Zacks are going to make a meal out of Molly. You've got to rescue her because your parents will never believe you when you tell them Aliens ate my babysitter in cinemas now. <laughs> Seriously, this sounds like a bad 1950s B-movie. <laughs> it's terrible. I kind of like it. It'd be a good film. And there we go. So now we can start again. I'm a wuss. I'm going to play it easy. And I told you we ex... Oh, that's not fun. Just adjust that volume because that's that's too loud when the, some of the sound effects happen. Because you know, when I said I had impossible pug a lot, that booze there. But uh, no, you can also do this. Trick is shoot down, try and stand on your bullet. I think you have to be facing left for it to actually work. But if it don't work, we'll just leave and come back later. There we go. You end up stood in the air. Like that. Now fire up. There you go, mate. That's how it's done. That's the impossible bullet trick. It's technically classed as cheating, apparently, so... Although I'm going to disagree. God. That's really touchy on this machine. I don't know whether it's... I don't know. You see, things like this, this game's hardcore. If you're not hardcore, you can't play this game. And I'm not hardcore, so... But now I cut failures out when I can be bothered, so... That little blue blur, who does it think it is? I'm sure it was green before, or red. I don't know, maybe I'm running a different version of the game on here, I don't know. I've got a CGA version somewhere. Good job that was there. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to stop doing that on this machine. I think I will go back to the other machine. Unless I can get the hang of this. I mean, I really need to practice. Practice mode! Going it along, baby. <laughs> Yeah, now, what should we do? Ah, oh, we can't go this way yet. Bummer. What a tall cliff! I wish I had a rope and grappling hook. Hmm, I wonder if there's a rope and grappling hook in the game. I mean, that's not the Commander Keen way. I was hoping he was going to get, like, rocket boots and, like, explosives and, like, try to rocket over the wall, fail, and then just blow it up. Oh, well, that's okay, because we got that extra life from exploiting the uh, impossible bullet trick. Bogo! Shit, that thing's on. It all looks very 90s, and this music really helps on this level. The 90s. 
Yeah. Oh, come on. I was trying to be clever, you stupid game. You just made me look like a fool. Yeah, I'm guessing you know how to impossible pogo trick. I mean, it's not that impossible. Any dumbass can do it. I mean, I can do it, so you should. Have... Oh. Yay! <laughs> I got a one up for dying. It didn't add to my score. How dare you! This game's a broken mess, and that's the kind of thing I was talking about. Right, now. <clears throat> As I was saying, I believe anybody now could impossible Pogo trick. I should have trained you all well, so. The 90s music's back. Yeah, um. So seeing as I believe you can all do this now, we're gonna I'm gonna try and get out of there. Because you can just impossible pug out that wall. Whoa! So that the collisions broke, you know there's a lot of places in this game and I will probably actually do it just to show you later on. You can save and stuff. And when you load the game, you can't continue. <coughs> It really is that bad. Now, you see what we've done. It's pretty much just broken the level, so... We'll say goodbye to guard post one. There's some levels where you really don't want to break them like that, though, because, um... It's just not good. Hold on, you know, I can't resist doing this. Ah, oh, come on. I was on it then. There we go, let's see if we can take a shortcut. I'm sure there's a way back in because the last time I played it, I like broke out the dome, got up here, and now I got back in somehow. But then, I don't know, it involved breaking the collision detection up somehow, but. I don't remember how I did it, you know. But we'll try. Eventually we've got to be able to get back in, right? Otherwise, we'll just have to climb it. I mean, that's too bad. What's up there, anyway? No, it's only that. It's just a load of them things. That suck. We don't want them. Those are for noobs. I'm not a noob. I've been playing this game since I was, like, seven. <coughs> hmm. Well, yeah, that's our blue key, impossible poor good. I think you actually have to do it in this game, you know? Ooh! Well, at least they don't kill you to the touch. It reminds me of something you'd see in the Angry Beavers. That show was awesome. Yeah, but, uh, all you have to do is get to the top of the level. It can't be that hard. Even if you do miss the platforms like a noob. Blooks. See, here's the problem. Actually, I'm going to save before I do that. I could completely break this. You can actually grab on to most of this, like, dome at the side and get out. Like, you jump into any bit of it. Yeah, you see, hold on. And you get out. And that's not the biggest collision problem you're going to have with this game. I mean, we're going to completely skip out the green key very shortly. Actually, you know, what's the point? You know, why? Why am I doing that? Why? Is there any good reason? I should have just impossible bullet trick to that thing. Oh well. I'll be honest, I thought it was in the other dome. <laughs> like this one. Second Dome of Darkness. Ah, oh, screw it. I can't be arsed with these levels, man. That should have saved us a bit of time at least. What the hell, man? Let's try not to do that again. Don't know what I was doing there. But no, I don't want to do this level game. Bloody hell. Get it through your head. 
They don't care about the dirt. It's a bloody biodome. That movie's failed. Why would I want anything to do with a biodome? I hated the movie. So, here we go. It stands to reason I'm going to hate the level. Oops. Yeah, Russian folk music kicks ass. Ah, oh, damn it. Now, let's have a look. See what we can do here. I think it's better on the more sharp corners trying to do this. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> What's the point in doing a level if I can just walk past it? I mean, so it smells funny. <laughs> oh, I'm not burning another power supply up. Oh, does it? Aren't there a typo in this? Hungerly. I don't know if you were fast enough to catch that, but it's just hungerly entered blue foods. This song is called Metal, and I absolutely love it. This is one that won't work on them emulated copies of the soundtrack that are up on the internet right now. Yeah, this is the sort of crap I was talking about. I said that before I died, but I knew it was coming, so... Uh, Think of everything that was difficult in the other Keen games, multiply it by about 20, and you've got Keen 6. Ah, oh, you... You suck, Keen. Nobody even likes you anymore. You're just some old franchise from the 90s, and this game just really dates horribly. I mean, look at it. And that's like the lyrics to the song again. Tis nineties, nineties, it's the nineties, it's the nineties, it's the nineties, it's from the nineties, it's the nineties, it's the nineties. I can just keep going all day with the nineties. <laughs> At least I got eighties music stuck in my head this time. Yeah, loads of eurythmics and craft work in my head. That's not good. <laughs> so the machinery noises won't work properly on emulation. I think the green key's up here. If it is, I'm not getting it. I refuse. Woo! <laughs> that was cool. I refuse to get the green key. I absolutely refuse because I am confident that I can... Yeah, there's the green key. Well, the green key's for retards. Why well, I want the green key. Look at that, look at the state of that. And the wall that. The way it clips through it. I don't know where this goes. I'm not a big fan of industrial music, but... If it was more like this... Sure, actually, you know. We might actually not need uh, the red and blue key either. If we need a blue key, that's bad because I'm not actually sure where it is. Yeah, I don't think I can do this one. No, you'll see what I'm going for shortly. You see, one of the enhancements they made to this version of the game, I think, was the. Handling of slope surfaces was improved, but it does cause a bunch of clipping glitches. I've been a little more relaxed with the time limit now. Don't want to go too far beyond 15 minutes, but at the same time, it doesn't matter that much now. You know, those used to be quite common hazards in these old side scrollers. There was fire coming out of the floor. And there is something that's surprisingly sinister about it, I don't know why. I used to have nightmares about it when I was a kid, though. I, I used to dream I was in this place and it smelled like the industrial, one of the industrial estates in the city. And it all. I could see that coming. <laughs> it all had a very industrial look as well and everything. It was. 
That was one of the things that used to be in that dream. Was stuff like that. It was before I played so many games, though, so... I don't play many games now, in all honesty. I'm kinda retired. Still play the old ones, but... Even then, I don't play them that often. Just gonna fix something, hang on. There we go. There we go, we've got both keys, that's all we need. Yeah, now, you see, we're going to be presented with an issue at the bottom of this section, because apparently we need a green key. Now, as you know, I disagree with the game designers on green keys. I think green keys are for losers, and that I'm above them. So let's have a look. Now, I swear, I haven't fiddled with the game in any way at all. This can be a little difficult to execute at times, but... When it works... When it works... You have to get him in just the right spot here. And he will eventually... Go right through it. The, I don't know whether you're going to think it's worth this or not, but... I think it'll work better on this one. Yeah, there we go. You can do it backwards through it as well. With the pogo stick, you can actually... Um, it works better on the other side. The pogo stick will take you back through the walls quite easily. Like, uh, let's see. Nah, it's weird. You kind of break through it, but it only works on the other wall for whatever reason. There must be something to do with the collision mapping. I should have stayed up there. There we go. Woo, I don't want to break through that side yet. Thank you very much. Right, I'm not bothering with those, there's no good reason to open them up and shit, so... We're just gonna go straight to the end of this level, and then we're gonna call it a video. There's a sandwich up there. This is the second biggest sandwich I ever saw!